Good morning and welcome to this Thursday in the 15th week of Ordinary Time. Today is also a memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, one of the titles of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And here's what it says today about this feast. This feast, instituted in the 14th century by the Carmelite Order, commemorates the anniversary of the day in 1251 when the Blessed Mother gave the brown scapular to St. Simon Stock. The scapular is an external sign of the filial relationship established between the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother and Queen of Mount Carmel, and the faithful who entrust themselves totally to her protection, who have recourse to her maternal prayers, and who are mindful of the primacy of the spiritual life and the need for prayer. I just happen to, to have a brown scapular here, in case you haven't seen one. They look just like this, two brown pieces of cloth connected by a cord, and they're worn underneath one's clothing, over the shoulders like this. And as it says, this is to remind those who wear it of the special love, the special prayers, and help of the Blessed Virgin Mary, who walks with us each day in the ups and downs of daily life. So this ties in very well with the Gospel that we have today from the 11th chapter of Matthew's Gospel. We had this a couple weeks ago on the weekend, and so I'm sure you will remember it. Here's what Jesus says. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. I think we can categorize the burdens that we experience, that we carry in life into two groups. The first group are the burdens that we don't need to carry. And I think we'd all agree that we ourselves can make life harder and heavier than it needs to be. We do this because we are fallen, and usually because of pride, and that form of pride that we call self-reliance. When we basically try to go about life on our own, in our own way, and we do not look to God, in fact, what we end up doing is, in various ways, we try to play God. And we all do this at different times. And this is why we carry so much unnecessary worry and anxiety. This is why we will try to push our way through the day with this restful, you know, striving. This is also why we try to control life we try to control others. This is why we try to hold on to things and we have a hard time letting go. Why we struggle to be patient and accept so many things that we cannot change. So God wants to take that burden off of our shoulders. We don't need to carry that. And this is why he recommends that we learn from him two virtues, humility and meekness. In humility, we accept our creatureliness and our, as creatures, dependence on the Lord. Also in humility, we acknowledge that God wants to walk with us as our Creator and our Heavenly Father, that we don't have to 
bear the burdens on our own. Meekness is what allows us to be gentle in life. It comes from an awareness of the presence of God and how God works. And therefore, it engenders docility and that peaceful acceptance and joyful trust and surrender. So together, humility and meekness work together to help us take on the gentle yoke of being connected to God living our life with God and looking to God for the help and the assistance that we need. And this is where we get the, the next category of burdens. And those are the ones that just come from living in a fallen world and struggling with our own brokenness, our own weaknesses and imperfections, the burdens of the losses that we experience and the sorrows that we carry and also our concern, you know, for the people that we love and the labor, the labor of, of making a living and of supporting ourselves and others, working by the sweat of our brow. This category of burdens we can't avoid, but the Lord wants us to know that we're not alone that he carries them with us. And if we allow God to help us carry them, if we look to God for help, then they're not quite as heavy. The reason why I mentioned that the feast today is connected to this reading is that another aspect of our faith that lightens our burdens is the communion of saints. The fact that we also have the relationship with Mary, with Joseph, and with so many other saints, and they too walk with us. They want to support us by their prayers and by their special intercession. And it's comforting to know that they too are with us, that they are our brothers and our sisters, and that we never have to walk through anything in this life alone. We have God, we have the Heavenly Father and our Lord Jesus, and that special gift of the Holy Spirit, but we also have all of these wonderful saints to help us. So God bless your day, and I'll see you tomorrow.